Bonjour, bonsoir and bon appetit my darlings. We're back today and we are doing this cracking BMW 3 Series with my best mate, Joe. Now, Joe is going to tell us a little bit more about this particular car and then I'll tell you what we're going to do with it. Yeah, so this is um, a 320i uh, G20 uh, with the technology pack and the comfort access pack. Um, it's got a two litre petrol engine and uh, M Sport Plus trim, so it's um, quite quite a shift. Nice. So you were particular about this one. This, you really wanted this this colourway with this pack, didn't you, when you were looking for it? Absolutely. Yeah. The blue really drips like off the car when it's uh, when it's clean. So. Well, that is what we're going to do today. Today, it's not just a wash. We're going to do um, full wash, decon, and a single step polish with Shoal Concepts S20 Black. And Joe's going to learn how to use the DA, as, and I'm going to use the rotary on all the tighter areas. So, we're all good, and we are going to crack on with the wash. Sit back and enjoy. To this point you may have thought this was historial blue or estereal blue however it's pronounced but nope it's the portamal blue which i think is lovely it's much darker um, but the exposure and the dust on the car made it look a lot lighter in those initial shots in person and if you know what this color looks like it is a lot darker and it's, it's beautiful really anyway we're just uh, attacking these rims here now with the built hammer auto wheel and uh, joe's really getting into that and i was also showing him how to use his uh, wheel woolly um, it's not an official wheel woolly, but it's one that was sold in Halfords. He's really struggling to get it behind the uh, brake disc. Now, I said actually one of the things you want to do, if you keep it wet in a bucket, it deforms a lot more and you'll be able to get it in um, behind those discs and calipers, which, um, which we were able to do to a large extent. A bit tight behind the caliper still, but we just moved the car later and uh, we were able to get into that bit that we couldn't get to. So we've washed it and we slow foamed it, washed it, and we've used Carpro Reset to wash. Now Joe is busying around with the G3 Clay Mitt, and that is using again the um, Carpro Reset uh, wash shampoo as kind of lubrication for doing that. We're going to rinse that off, dry it, and then we're going to start, uh, start with the polishing. Maybe after some food. I think I'm gonna to have to take Joe with me wherever I go to do these jobs because it was so much easier and quicker driving the car <laughs> with having a partner in crime. Joe's going around with the big towel, I'm following him up with a smaller plush microfiber just to get up any excess. Worked really well. Now, the um, what we're looking at here is all the, the defect we're dealing with, that's kind of marring from washing and from the clay. And we're gonna be using S20 Black on the purple spider pads. So it's pretty cool. I'm just showing Joe here what the general process is going to be for polishing. He's never done DA work before. So uh, one pass on low speed to uh, spread the polish out. Then four passes um, at speed three or four um, with medium pressure. And then one or two passes with just the machine weight at the higher speed of the three or four to uh, refine it out. And then buff off. Now. 
here we go, I'm giving Joe his first set to do here. We can see that he was uh, struggling with getting the pad to stop stalling and it, we found it, it was because he was kind of holding at the back rather than slightly lifting at the back of the machine. He got to grips with that really quickly and then just at the end here I'm just pointing out kind of avoid the big ridge lines uh, going over them. It will cause dusting but it could go through some of the paint that is usually a bit thinner on those ridges. So. Whilst he's uh, continuing on that bonnet, I'm setting to the rear bumper with the uh, spot pad on my rotary. Same polish, same type of pad, different polisher. I'd say this angle gives probably the truest representation of what this colour looks like. I think it's mega. Absolutely wonderful. He's made a really good choice with this. Now what you can probably see there is two things. Uh, one is we've set the alarm off, but didn't realize because we had earplugs in and the machines are pretty loud. Um, but secondly, you can probably just start to see the appearance of raindrops. And we were struggling with the weather now. Uh, so what we decided to do was to finish the bonnet, which we'd already done, get the boot done and finish off the roof. And then we were gonna apply our LSP. So uh, Joe comes around in a minute and gives me a hand with uh, finishing off polishing the boot. We actually found that this boot lid is slightly concave, which meant it was actually easier to do with the spot pad um, than it was with the five and a half inch pad on the DA. Now we could have used a three inch pad on the DA, but I only had one with me at the time. So um, yeah, good to know, but the concave shapes is uh, it's definitely easier with a smaller pad. So Joe was doing a bit of this earlier, but we are going around the whole car, giving it a wipe down with Car Pro Eraser to remove any oils or anything left um, behind. And we are then going to apply the Turtle Wax Graphene Infused Flex Wax. So as Joe goes around and gives this a great application there, I am just finishing off the tyres with a bit of Meguiar's Endurance tyre dressing and uh, we're going to roll the car back to get all the bits we can't get to on that and uh, we are almost done. So all I want to say is thank you very much for spending the time watching this. Sit back and enjoy the afters and there's even a cheeky beading shot from later in the day. Mm -hmm.